GDPR apply to me as a U.S. company? And the short answer is that in some cases it does. And uh, if you have an establishment in the EU, regardless of where the processing is taking place, the GDPR applies to you. And um, if you do not have an establishment, the GDPR could still apply if you are processing personal data of data subjects who are in the European Union. And only in the cases where the processing activities are related to offering goods or services to those data subjects in the EU or moder monitoring the behavior of data subjects. Now, you could be monitoring the behavior of data subjects if, for example, you are the owner of an application being used in the EU uh, that tracks location. You could be offering goods or services to the EU if you have a web shop uh, which delivers uh, products to the EU and who has a lot of uh, EU customers. Um, the third bullet point is uh, probably not uh, applicable to you, so we're just going to move forward to the next slide unless Henrik has something to add to this one. Thank you, Marta. Um, no, just want to underscore your point of uh, the fact that if your organization has an establishment in the European Union, uh, it'll be, it'll be covered uh, by jurisdiction even if the processing does not take place in the EU, just as it says in the slide. And I, I like the example of Google, where uh, the Spanish Data Protection Authority uh, was in, interceded against Google, even though the search service provided by Google was not carried out in Spain. But the fact that Google had a branch that sold advertising in Spain meant that the, the search uh, carried out in the United States fell under the, the, juris the national jurisdiction. So, so this is something to remember that even if your, your processing uh, is far removed from the EU, it could still be covered. Uh, that's the point I, I felt important to elaborate. Exactly, on the to legal the form slide. is not the determining factor. Yes, exactly.